We're live and we're making chimichurri sauce. Oh, we've got a Coco on the balance bike. We're gonna make our we're gonna make our food now. I'm on my new balance bike. Coco's been practicing her balance bike in the house because why not? She's gonna be a two-wheeler rider this summer and we're gonna try to not do training wheels. So we're like, just do the balance bike, right? I'm gonna do training wheels. We'll see. But it's going well, right? And we're just opened up a beer. It's five o'clock, so we don't even have to pretend. Hi. There's Luz, she's here. Alewife, Alewife is our local um, Long Island City brewery and we got a case from them this week because we want to support and it's delicious. Um, so I'm excited about that. So we are making, um, we're gonna make chimichurri, a quick sauce, but I'm gonna show you a really fun way to make it, um, to make it nice and exciting, uh, especially in an apartment kitchen because uh, it doesn't have to be just completely raw sauce. Um, and then I think we're gonna make some parsnip chips um, that my girls love. Girls, do you love parsnip chips? Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, they're gonna love them. So, um, first things first is I have been getting uh, spring onions, scallions, so many I don't know what to do with them. And um, it just dawned on me today, like my favorite thing, because I don't love like tons of raw onions, but I have this way of making my chimichurri sauce with charred scallions. Um, if you have a grill, it's a great way to char your scallions, but as you know, I live in an apartment. I don't even really have a real hood, so it's going to be pretty exciting. I've got Harper on standby in case we set off the fire alarm, um, because it might happen. Um, I do these right on the burner. So you do need an open flame for this to really get the char. Um, so here is my, so I'm, I'm turning on the burner and I'm gonna leave them whole. I'm not going to oil them or salt them. I don't wanna make too much of a mess and we can do that all later. We're really just looking to soften them with the heat and char them with the flame. So I'm gonna pop this on. Actually, you know what? Maybe it's easier. I have my little tongs here for turning, so have some tongs nearby when you're gonna take this on. Um, but we can just lay them across first before we put um, the flame on. That's probably a little safer and easier. And so again, if you have a grill, if you're in the burbs, more power to you. Um, this quarantine has really put that in perspective for us all. <laughs> Uh, but we love our apartment and uh, it's great. Other than the fact that we don't have a real hood, that totally bums me out a lot. We have one of those like microwave things. Yeah, darling. Uh, no, I'm okay. Oh, no, I'm okay, but thank you. That's good. We'll just make that later. Uh, and so another trick that I just came up with and I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm cooking down my scallions. See this? They're, not, they're just directly on that flame right there. The flame is pretty high. I'm gonna lower it just a bit, cause I do, before they get super charred, I want them to, uh, before they get super charred, I want them to soften. It's not like we're looking to just flash char them right now. But while that's happening, I decided that since we're mellowing out the onion flavor by cooking it down a little bit, we also might be able to do that with our garlic. Cause I don't know, I say this all the time, I'm not crazy about, uh, raw garlic. I do. I will handle it in chimichurri and, and uh, pesto like the way it's supposed to be. Um, but I was thinking it would be super fun to mellow out the garlic by doing like a quick roast. So I'm leaving it in the um, in the paper shell, whatever it's called, skin skin entirely. And I'm gonna do the same thing on my little back burner over here. I'm gonna pop this. It's gonna have to balance, so that is kind of precarious. But there it is, let's see, my beer's in the way. So see, my little garlic clove, and we're gonna just pop the oven on and try not to burn the garlic clove down instantaneously, but it's just gonna hang out there, all right? So while that hangs, we're cooking these uh, scallions, and you see they're, they're starting to get um, nice and charred on here. And it's really like, we're just adding some complexity of flavor. We're adding uh, 
a little bit of cookedness to it to tone it down just a little bit. And the char is like really trendy. Like you go to a fine dining restaurant and they're like, oh, we have a little charred bit of char on your plate. Insert whatever vegetable. But it's definitely a thing. So, you know, we're up in our game here. Uh, I think it's, it's super fun. So these are actually pretty good to go and that garlic is pretty good to go. So while that's kind of mellowing for a second, um, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna pop some parsnip chips in the oven. Uh, parsnips are not quite in season. Parsnips are a root vegetable, which we think of more in fall. Uh, but I am getting them in my market baskets. So we might as well use it. And the girls, although they're playing, they're playing uh, screens all day, I'm just like, can't use my brain right now. That's why they didn't know, but they do love them. So this is my parsnip. And uh, in order to make it a chip, we just need a Y peeler. So you probably have one. If you don't, I would highly recommend it. These are awesome peelers. They're a lot easier than that, that other kind of traditional peeler that we all grew up with. Um, and this, this is nice and flat. And you can, I'm gonna put it down against something because that's easier. Um, we're just gonna pull it down across the parsnip. Oops, that's burning. And, um, it comes out so we don't need to do a mandolin we don't have to do super skinny knife cuts like we're just using this peeler but you do want to press pretty hard because it's better if you can make it a little bit wider like you don't want it super super skinny like because then it'll just be like shoestrings and that's not quite as much fun um so it works if you have like a nice wide parsnip like that um I do have some other skinnies that I was playing around with, but this one seems to be the best because we want like, we essentially, if this can be big enough to dip in our chimichurri, it's gonna be a delicious little tapas, if you will, a little snack to enjoy with our um, cervezas from Alewife, my local Long Island City brewery that I love. Um, and they are hanging in there by selling beers from the doorway. So we try to pop up there once in a while and support, support our happy hour and support them. So with the chips, I'm going to turn this flame off because these guys look great. And I'm going to add them to the ones that I did before. See how nice that is? It's just fun. Like it's like they're nice and soft and, and easy now. Um, and then I'm just going to pop these bad boys in the oven. So. I just peeled all of these parsnips. I'm gonna give them a quick, quick toss. Hi. I'm gonna give them a quick toss in a little salt, a little pepper, and a little hit of olive oil. Okay, oops. And then uh, just give them a little toss. Now, if you have a baking sheet with uh, a cooling rack, that's ideal because it'll make it go really quickly. And uh, we're gonna, if, you, if you can take the time to lay them across, if they're big enough, that's great. If you wanna leave them in a pile, it's fine. Just remember to keep an eye. Because essentially what we're trying to do here is get them to crisp without getting super dark. If they get super dark, they eventually will start tasting burnt and they won't be as delicious. So we do want them to be nice and crispy like a chip, um, and these, but this is a good vegetable to do this with. I have found that they, they crisp up pretty nicely. They must have a pretty low water content. Um, so this is going to go in the oven and I'm putting this in the oven at 300. I have the convection fan on to speed it up a little bit, but it's lower and slower. Cause again, we don't want to get it super, super dark. So it takes longer to dry it out before it's ready. So those are going to go in right now. this 300 start. okay well it's fine okay back to our chimichurri so we have our scallions that we just made and they're lovely 
Now scallions are pretty burly when it comes to uh, blending them, so it is a good idea to run a knife through. So this is my Mother's Day present. Uh, Harper did really well, and he called up my girl, Jackie Blanchard, Cajun Jackie B, at Coutelier Nola uh, in New Orleans and Nashville, and he helped her pick out this amazing knife. So I had a lovely Mother's Day. Um, so I'm just gonna run through this, and let's see, we'll just, we're just gonna, we're really just gonna make it easier on our blender. I'm taking off those ends, and I'm just gonna fly through this a little bit right here not even we don't have to like really chop it but we just want to make it a little bit easier because it's the the spring onions are really fibrous and we don't want to make it um you know just stringy and weird we really want to actually get through that so i'm gonna go right into this blender bowl you know my little tiny blender no frills over here no frills no big deal it can still be amazing even though we don't have a million and one equipments. Uh, and now for our herbs. So we're going to do... What happened? Where am I? What? What? Am I still here? I'm here. I'm back. I don't know what I just touched. Dear God. Um, so there's still a little bit of a learning curve here, right? I mean, it's only like nine weeks into quarantine when I finally had the time to make the video. So thanks for tuning in. Um, okay, so we have our picked flat leaf parsley. Um, we've got parsley right here. And I've got cilantro. And we wanna get most of those stems off there. It's gonna blend, so that if there's some stems left, it's fine. Um, but you know, the big ones off. Same with the cilantro. Cilantro has super delicate stems. They make really great uh, like curry paste and everything. So we're just gonna take a few of those off and then uh, check out the um, this the garlic. The, what the garlic did was pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So the garlic, if we take it out of the shell skin, I don't know why I can't figure that out. So it's it's not like it's super 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 roasty, but I'm gonna take I'm gonna take off that burnt because we don't love the flavor of burnt garlic. So it got through the skin a little bit. But look, it's like all smushy and like roasty, and it's just gonna give us our nice deep flavor. Uh, so it's not just gonna be like a raw hash of a sauce. And I'm gonna add just a little hit of coriander because coriander is the ground uh, seed of the cilantro plant. So. A lot of people call cilantro coriander, and that's because it is. Um, so this is great. And then, so we have our herbs, we have our scallions, and we have our garlic and our coriander. And then I am going to add a tiny bit of minced jalapeno in here. I might mix some in later, but for now I don't want to get it super, super spicy. Um, and you can do this all by hand too, which I should because I have this fancy, fancy new knife. Uh, but that's not what this is all about today. A snack, sorry, we just, we're the connection. We should finish this up. Um, so now we're gonna put in limes. I've got a few limes here. I'm gonna start with two. I'm gonna squeeze these limes in. And this is gonna make it bright. This is gonna make it amazing. And it is our delicious green sauce. So chimichurri is traditionally from Argentina. They make lots of different chimis. They make red chimis and green chimis. And, um, I love it. It's good with steak. It's good with chicken. We're probably gonna pair this with some chicken later for dinner. Uh, it's great with parsnip chips. So my limes are getting juiced in here. And then just salt and pepper and olive oil. Just our key ingredients. A little salt, some pep. We already have our jalapeno in there. And then olive oil. We're gonna give it a few glugs because we really wanna get this blender spinning. So we need enough liquid in there to spin. In fact, I have an already sliced lime. I'm gonna add that as well. So let's get this on the blender. 
and see how our liquid turned out. It's my little bullet thing. shake. Put it back on. I mean, how great is it when it finally catches? It's like so satisfying. Oh my god. Oh, I mean, it, it gets me every time. I'm like, nailed it, yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a taste. Make sure we love it. It's amazing. It's really good. It's got a little kick to it. That jalapeno was no joke. All right, I'm gonna put it in here. This is my sauce. This is my beautiful, delectable sauce right there. And I'm gonna check on these chips and see if they crisped up. So these I actually put in ahead of time. So this was, I put these probably in like 40 minutes ago. They got a little bit dark, but like this is perfect. This is what we're looking for. There's only like two on here that got too dark. So they're gorgeous and I'm gonna put them down transfer them on to my plate. What were they in the oven for? They were in the oven for 40 minutes. On, on what? 350? 300. No, low and slow. 300. We don't want to burn them. Like, so this one, this must have been really thin. This one got a little dark. Not the end of the world, but like not really what we're going for. And these, these are my like shoestringy guys. They're really fun. They would make a really nice little salad topping. Although like when my family has these, it's not gonna make it to dinner. Like we're not garnishing anything fancy. Um, so here we go, here we go. Snack time at the Holmes house. Grab your cerveza, come on over, we miss you. Miss everybody, thanks for tuning in. I will see you soon. Happy Thursday, right, it's Thursday. Cokes, you wanna come try? Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, you guys wanna try? Happy try it out. I've had these before. You have had these before, right? And they're so good. They're so good, right? Try. Good job, Coco. Mmm, so good, right? Bye. The parsnips are sweet. When they crisp up, they're even sweeter. And the chimichurri is nice and spicy, nice and bright, nice and tangy. This is a hit. All right. Ah, oh, and the shirt. It happens every time, every time. White shirt. <gasps> My